Amir and Sam was a great Dollar Tree find. I'm starting to realize how many of these films are from the Dollar Tree, but finding a Draft House release for a buck will always be awesome. I'm not gonna lie when I say that in the Draft House line, Amira and Sam probably was not near the top. After watching it, however, how wrong was I? Amir and Sam is a realistic and heartfelt story about Sam returning as an Iraq veteran falling for an Iraq immigrant, Amira. As their relationship blossoms, Amira's legal troubles and facing deportation leads Sam to figure out just what to do. First off, this is a shorter film, barely under 90 minutes, and it just flies by. Sam and Amira are a blast to watch together on screen. They have great chemistry together on screen, and their relationship feels very honest. Sam is a well-written character with a lot of depth, and Martin Starr, who plays him, does a fantastic job. Seeing Sam transitioning back into civilian life and wanting to become a comic is a small story arc, but it's handled really well and very moving when you come to the end. Of course, Amira is also well-written with a lot of depth. Dina Shahabi also does an amazing job bringing her to life as well. The acting all around is just pretty great here, despite, for at least me, not really seeing any familiar faces. The honesty is probably the best aspect of the film in my opinion. Nothing is really dramatized, it's a simple, straightforward look at an unlikely relationship, and just the everyday goings is what makes for the drama itself. Nothing is really played up here, and for me, that's what makes this movie so charming and moving. You only wish for the best and hope everything comes out great for them. In terms of visuals, the shot composition is pretty basic. It works for sure, but the color grading, I love. They use some rather basic and simple grading to create a more naturalistic slice of life look, and it complements the film very well. The editing and the score is also pretty great too. They all work together to bring in this atmosphere of it's just a slice of life really well. I love when this happens, when I find a film that I wouldn't really be that interested in in the first place, decide to give it a watch, and then it was kind of pleasantly surprised by it. I really enjoyed this one.